Five, and the United Nations Security Council will hold a closed door emergency meeting tonight to talk about the latest North Korea missile launch. CBS 4's Mola Lenghi is at the White House with more on the escalating tensions. But um, I think enough is enough. Nikki Haley, the U.S. ambassador to the U.N., says the United Nations needs to get tougher with North Korea. We are going to. Um, Talk about what else is left to do to North Korea. No country should have missiles flying over them like those 130 million people in Japan. North Korea launched an intermediate range ballistic missile which flew directly over the Japanese island of Hokkaido before splashing into the Pacific Ocean 1,600 miles away. This is not acceptable, and we again condemn the DPRK in the strongest terms. But it's not clear what can be done to stop North Korea from pursuing its nuclear program. They have violated every single UN Security Council resolution that we've had, and so I think something serious has to happen. President Trump says all options are on the table, but the White House has not said what steps the U.S. will take. Former White House advisor Sebastian Gorka said the U.S. doesn't have to launch a military strike to retaliate. In the more covert side of things, you've seen a lot of missile tests fail. Most tests actually fail. Uh, sometimes there may be reasons beyond just the incompetence of North Korea. President Trump gave a vague, we'll see, when he was asked what the U.S. response would be Tuesday morning. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, the White House. And South Korea did a live fire bombing exercise this morning in response to the latest North Korean missile launch.